He has been repeatedly accused of animal abuse and starving his horses, but fought the charges and won. And now this horse owner is under investigation again for allegedly leaving a mare inside a cramped trailer for a day and a half. 11 to Livestock Richards is following the latest accusations. The horse trailer is parked near Camp Creek Parkway alongside a muddy patch of farmland. Inside, we found a mare that a horse rescue group had spent much of last year rehabilitating from a previous abuse case. We're seeing a cycle of recurrent abuse, recurrent neglect. The property belongs to a man who sometimes calls himself the urban cowboy and who has faced and beaten animal abuse charges in recent years. In this case, Candace Taylor says she saw the horse locked in the trailer without water Saturday night. There was a lot of kicking and stomping. Um, a lot of agitation obviously coming from the trailer. And more than a day and a half later, we saw the horse still in the trailer. I'm a great man of wisdom, knowledge, integrity. Brandon Fulton says he put the horse in the trailer. That's not a problem. The horse being in the trailer since Saturday night? I don't problem. know about no horse being in the trailer since Saturday night. Yes, you do. It's your horse. It's right there in your, you said it was yours. Okay, you said since Saturday night. Fulton is a chatty individual who says he has ongoing issues with local government and sometimes the news media. But he says he loves horses and was training the horse locked in the trailer. I've been to trial several times. A horse can go up to 72 hours without water. I train horses to get in and out of trailers. I put that horse in the trailer to make sure she eats all her food. Mr. Fulton says that he is training the horse to eat. Uh, does that make any sense? I think that's a very bizarre thing. Now, how long will the horse be in the trailer? Well, when are you going to let her out? When, I'm, when I get ready, when I get over there and finish with you. See, you're interrupting my progress for the day. Fulton did release the horse after we left to conduct another interview. But Fulton County says it opened another animal abuse investigation based on the complaint. To read more about the past accusations and the cases against Brandon Fulton, you can go to 11alive.com and look for the story on the homepage.